my interest in research and science stems from the desire to uh, tackle urgent societal and environmental challenges and to find solutions. My research develops safe, permanent and affordable carbon capture and storage solution, thereby contributing to the decarbonization of the global economy and putting us back on a more sustainable pathway. In the Oman Mountains, I discovered spring water pools with white precipitates at the bottom of the pool. I realized that the spring water is capturing CO2 from the atmosphere. The captured CO2 reacts with the spring water and is precipitated as carbonate minerals. This resulted in the founding of 44.01, an Omani startup company. In 2022, 44.01 was the lucky winner of the Earthshot Prize with the objective to uh, engineer this natural uh, carbon capture and storage process and to scale it up. My ongoing research is integrated in one of my teaching modules, specifically the environmental and engineering geology bachelor and master students in the environmental geoscience and geology programs learn key skills such as collecting research data, critically analyzing the data and reporting and presenting the data. These practical skills are required to address these environmental and societal challenges, but they are also essential skills for their future professional development. We have topics from oceanography to geology to geography and environmental science, topics concerning climate change and also renewable energies, carbon storage resonated most with me. We got to go on a variety of field trips where we then get to look at different geological formations and apply the knowledge we've learned in class. I thought it was very interesting to cover topics of climate change and also carbon capture storage, but also nuclear decommissioning, so very up-to-date and current topics. They also so I hope to expand my knowledge and also my passion for carbon management by doing a master's. So my research is primarily looking at how microbes cycle carbon and nitrogen in serpentinizing systems. So this involves looking at the microbial community and also what chemical cycle they're enacting and the rate at which they're doing these processes. Now this heavily links to the work Jörg's doing and has done. Jörg has a very large amount of background knowledge which I've been able to tap into in order to push my own research forward and he's also been somebody there to support me and to provide me the resources to be able to enable my own research. I really loved being in the lab, in the field and demonstrating and teach and interact with the undergrad students. Yerk's work with 4401 is really, really interesting and it's been really nice to see how those small upcoming companies being able to develop and enable new technologies to be able to tackle climate change. I really, really enjoy the research side of things, but I've also really enjoyed working with and seeing the business side of, of, of research.